What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school, on the other side of the ocean. Yet, you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? And hello everyone, welcome once again. My name is Logan, and this is Decode Your Reality. Today I'm doing one on the 16-year-old from Stockholm, Sweden, Greta Thunberg. This is Greta Thunberg. Decoded. Now you noticed in the beginning, played this little piece from her speech at the climate change summit that just happened here in 2019. Kind of interesting her story, you know, and uh, notice her last name. Now without being racist, because I have to announce that, because that's just how fragile our world is, this is a Jewish last name. Now I have nothing against that ethnic group. I got plenty of friends that are Jewish. But I want to point that out because it's important. Now she's 16 years old. Keep in mind the days of creation of this earth as talked about in many esoteric pieces of literature. Days 1 through 6. 16, the 16th card in the tarot is the tower card. The card of destruction. Shaking the tree. But I believe firmly, ladies and gentlemen, as holy and humble you think this girl is, she's nothing other than a puppet playing the masses with her young age and loud voice. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree with that. That's my opinion. Now, some of the things that she did say in the beginning or during this speech is true. It doesn't matter whether or not climate change is true or not. That's irrelevant point is is our world is changing and a revolution is at hand and that's why she's coming out with these words that she's saying and we haven't heard the last of this girl but let's break it down even further because I want to know more about this girl don't you I mean this was shared today and I forgot your name I apologize but this was shared to today her full name which is right here kind of a long name but she goes by Greta Thunberg. This is what she goes by professionally or, you know, on the stage. Now, before I move forward, I want to show you real quick. These are my methods of decoding. I use numerology. Type in any, not any word. For instance, you know, Greta is a 15. Kind of interesting. That's the devil card. But anyway, that's real loose. And then, of course, bringing the numerology into the elements of the periodic table matching up with the protons and the atomic weights everything we say is a magic spell you can measure it through the spoken word and then of course bringing pi into this the digits of pi the cosmic egg those digits can move into the cosmic egg everything is contained within the zero and we have these two websites to do that as well and then of course we need a picture to really look at the numbers and that's what the tarot is for all these cards are numbered so those are my methods of decoding I'm sure if you're following this video, you've seen my work already. Now, this is by far the easiest thing to observe, yet it's the most complex because the name she goes by on the world stage is Greta Thunberg. And, you know, if you've been following my work, you know how much you've seen the number 47. Now, her name equals 47, just like that of the Tetragrammaton. Which is this symbol right there. You don't have to be Jewish or Hebrew to understand what that symbol means. The Yodevahe, the YHVH, 
or what I believe to be the one that runs this matrix reality or at least hijacked it. How in the heck is her name linked to that? And keep in mind, Washington DC equals 47, White House equals 47, Georgetown University equals 47. Do you think there's a pattern there, ladies and gentlemen? And again, I mean, this is why I use Chaldean, because I find the links. But what are the odds of her name being 40 freaking seven linked up to the Tetragrammaton? Because I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's not just sitting down with a pen and a piece of paper and choosing this name, but it's something behind the scenes pulling the strings. And we're gonna get into that. Now, this is one of the statements she made during that video. How dare you? You've stolen my dreams and my childhood in parentheses. You can always decode something that's in parentheses. And when you break that down through numerology, that statement that she said equals the number 180. Now, if you know anything about numerology, you know already how important and big the 18 is. It's huge. The word Jesus equals 18 to give you an indication. And that doesn't even mean Jesus is real or true, or was a real man, it doesn't matter. The idea of the 18, study Alistair Crowley's work, you study in the, 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 the book of the law or the book of lies, the 18 is huge, huge. So it's big. 180, that's tied to the element. Here we go with alchemy, the spoken word into alchemy. It links up with the 73rd element, tantalum, and that equals 180 for its at atomic weight. The interesting part of that is this was her Swedish slogan. I'm not going to try to pronounce that, but I will tell you that in numerology, it equals the number 73, which links up to the 73rd element, tantalum, and then it equals up with, how dare you stolen my dreams in childhood. So you got to ask yourself, hey, what, and, I, and I, you've said, you heard me say this, what are the odds of these linking up like that? Well, really good when there's something pulling the strings behind the scenes, not just being a puppet. Now, when we get into the tarot, what does it look like getting pictures of the numbers? We got the number 180. Well, the first card is the magician, the eighth card is strength, and the zero card is the fool card. And then when we bring those into numerology, we get the number 75. And... The reason why I have the Tetragrammaton here is because when we go into Pi, the cosmic egg that contains all numbers, the number 75 appears at the 47th decimal digit of Pi. So again, what are the odds of these linking up like that? I've been showing this consistently using this methodology, methodology, excuse me, over and over and over and over showing these things, showing the Tetragrammaton, leaving its fingerprints behind. Now she was on Time Magazine on May 27th is when this article came out. I want you to notice, which you may have never noticed before, she's wearing a green dress. Why green? Because green is the heart chakra. They're trying to play into your heart chakra. That's the last chakra they need to win in order to win this game they're trying they're not going to win but that's what they're striving to do is to win the heart chakra you must win the heart chakra to win the game of life they're doing everything they can but they're playing by the rules these are the rules the heart chakra is at the fourth level it's ruled by krypton the last element the 36th element that's why superman was from krypton and that's why she's wearing this green dress. Now, you notice there's some words on Time Magazine, and you can decode all these. I, I didn't want to go and give you a ton of them, but Next Generation Leaders was in bold. That equals the number 80. And without even bringing alchemy into it, I just use numerology, you get the element Mercury. And what is Mercury? Mercury is the planet of communication. On top of that, Mercury is the first planet. That's one. The heart chakra is the fourth. It's the one four, and one four is the hell, the box we live in. One four, 41. That's where they want to keep you stuck to be recycled and come back to do it all over again. That's what I believe anyway. 
I got tons of data to support it, not just my word. And of course, that's linked to the Tetragrammaton. Why do I say that? Because the article came out on May 27th. Who chose that date? Do you think they're looking at the digits of pi? Do you think they're looking at how, what day of the year it is? I can assure you probably yes. But in the Gregorian calendar, it's the 147th day of the year. Notice the 47. It's clear as day. Clear as day. Now, this was one of the other slogans that she came out with, or they came out with, make the world Greta again. And of course, you know, kind of feeding off of, you know, make America great again by Trump and his campaign. But the 74 is what it came out to in numerology. And, you know, just want to throw this out there. The yin and yang, which I believe is the yin and yang, I've shown this over, Jesus is the feminine, Lucifer is the masculine, the black and the white. Those both equal 74 in the English ordinal. 74 in alchemy is tied to tungsten, which is tied to Jesus and Lucifer, and the element arsenic. The 33rd element has an atomic weight average of 74. Arsenic is about death. It'll kill you in small amounts. And of course, 74 is the mirror of, yet again, the 47. How convenient that these taglines and these memes come out to be to the Tetragrammaton. So you see how it leaves its fingerprints behind. It leaves it behind. And then this actually was a documentary done by Vice, which of course is owned by HBO and of course they'll tell you some stories behind the scenes from an esoteric standpoint with symbology and numerology absolutely but this lady right here this girl is 16 year old she's on vice I suggest you watch it this is part of the documentary that I that I'm showing here the screenshot and I thought this was something that needed to be shown this was the logo that they chose right here and if you know anything about this logo, I mean, not only is that the NFL football inside that hand, that's the freaking Vesica Pisces. It's also two letter D's. And that's 44 in numerology, double D, 44. That has significance there. We could go and really go down the rabbit hole with that. But this is the logo they chose. Do you think they, do you think they chose it? or the girls chose it or Greta chose it I don't know I wasn't there it's hard to prove but the point is is there's a freaking Vesica Pisces right there and they're talking about change revolution and that's coming within a very short period of time I can assure you that now last but not least oh no, I have two slides left this was an article that she was on on this magazine called ID now it's clear as day if you can't see this then you really need to go back and reevaluate what you think you know about the esoteric aspects because this clearly shows she's a puppet because there's the one eye right there the all-seeing eye that's the symbol for it this was a dead giveaway by the way and you know on the little chip that she's holding whatever the heck it is it says save our climate and when you use the numerology aspects you get the number 51 and then when you break it down through alchemy, this is the three one. Here we go. Save is three one six five. So three one six five. Lithium, hydrogen, carbon, boron, and then hour seven six two, and then climate three three one four one four five. Right there. And then you add up all those elements, all these little atomic weights right there. You add them up in the trusty calculator, and it gives us. A total amount of 106.12. That's what this comes out through the spell that was spoken. Save our climate right there. Every time someone says it, it actually exuberates the number 106. And 106 in numerology equals the number 47. Matching that of the Tetragrammaton. Again. Now, numerology-wise, save our climate equals 51. And of course, that's the element antimony. And you know, the big standout for that is the number 120, which matches up with King Solomon's temple, which is talked about in First Kings. I'd suggest you go study that. 
the actual dimensions was 60 cubits by 20 cubits 60 times 20 is 1200 and there's the 120 big big number right there but even more bigger is this element if you go to the Royal Society of Chemistry which I'll show you you just go right here to the Royal Society of Chemistry and you go to the 51st element and look at the actual icon they chose to use to represent this element and then you go into you know the uses and properties it'll tell you you know the symbol is the eye of Horus the ancient Egyptians used antimony sulfide as a mascara to darken the eye that's what we're talking about here ladies and gentlemen antimony so it's linked to this save our climate it's linked to if you can't see the big pyramid and the eye I try to put the graph there the all-seeing eye right there clear as day clear as day now my last slide on Greta is her birthday supposedly allegedly whatever they have out online it's the only thing I can go by she was born on January 3rd 2006 now maybe this is the first time you're seeing this this is called the cards of illumination this is a friend of mine's graphic it's called the crown line but this right here ladies and gentlemen are these cards are the 52 cards in the poker deck each one of these cards link up to a birthday your birthday is linked up to one of these cards by the way if you're curious just send me a message and I'll send you what your card is but these all play into nature 52 cards equals the 52 weeks of the year four suits equals the four seasons of the year and I can promise you those that rule this planet that have the knowledge they use this to do their bidding because it's patterned after nature and you know this right here represents earth then you got Mercury the first planet then Venus the second then Mars the third then Jupiter the fourth then Saturn the fifth that's why Saturn rules the number five that's why his magic square is 15 and is the five sits in the middle of the calculator and the dial pad go check your phone out five sits right in the middle collects all the energy Uranus the father of Saturn is the third eye the sixth planet and then seventh planet is Neptune the planet of spirituality and then you have all the planets down here as well this is what the Magi came out with back in the 13th or 14th century according to literature that I've studied so I believe this is the exact representation of the planets in order earth Sun and moon would be right here anyways what I wanted to show you is January 3rd is her birthday this is her card linked up to her birthday it is the jack of spades in the tarot it's the jack of swords which is a card of revolutionary aspects it's a card of revolution and it just so happens that it sits in the Mars Tower the Mars pillar and the Mars planet is the planet of war revolution change aggressiveness you can't get any more descriptive of what this woman this well, I shouldn't say woman what this 16 year old girl is all about Jack of swords Jack of spades the Jack is the knight on the chessboard the knight goes into battle that's why they were called the Knights Templar and she happens to be in the Mars line what do you see maybe you've never seen this before well, I can assure you that this is a very important integral part of those that rule the world right here three of diamonds that's Donald Trump's card right there sits in the Saturn Mercury line Mercury is the planet of communication Saturn is the, the big boy on the block the five I'm getting ahead of myself but what do you see maybe you've never seen this before but I can assure you this is reality ladies and gentlemen it's part of a reality it's part of magic but what do you see I know what I see loud and clear you're talking about a puppet yes but she is a puppet of the tetragrammaton running everything behind the scenes pulling the strings of man to keep 
this matrix reality in order. That's how it works. That's how this works. I can assure you. That's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Your Reality, and I really appreciate you watching. Till next time, have a good night or day.